the Alamo Bowl, Oregon against Oklahoma. We have Mario Cristobal that left to go coach Miami, and we've got Lincoln Riley, the Sooners coach, that left to go coach USC. So we have Bob Stoops against an interim guy. Like, I, I don't even have the name in front of me. It's not Moorhead, though, right? Moorhead already left for Akron? So Moorhead is, is actually coaching in this game. So, so I think he's going to be the interim, right? No, he's not the interim. It's uh, I think it's the special teams coordinator. That's okay, over. that makes sense. Uh, here we special go. Special teams guys usually know everybody, so yeah, that's why they get it. They're Brian the Brian yeah. McClendon. Brian McClendon. I figured Moorhead might get it because he has head coaching experience. So that, that would be the only reason. So Oregon is yeah. Brian McClendon is the interim. Tim DeRuiter, the defensive coordinator, took or he took the same position at Texas Tech, and Joe Moorhead, of course, took the head coaching job at Akron. Both of them are staying on to coach the game minus crystal ball. So the entire staff at Oregon is staying intact for this bowl game. At Oklahoma, that is not the case. He has already taken Alex Grinch with him to USC in addition to the wide receivers coach, outside linebackers, defensive ends coach, and their strength coach, along with uh, defensive line coach Calvin Thibodeau, who joined the SMU staff. So like, Oregon has everybody, Sands the head coach, and Oklahoma has... Uh, maybe a couple of guys still lingering around, but it, it's definitely not the same at Oklahoma. Oklahoma's also had a ton of guys that have transferred, et cetera. Oregon's got a couple of dudes that have uh, decided they're going to sit out for the NFL, but it's really not anything crazy. Uh, Kayvon Thibodeau is going to sit out. Oklahoma's missing defensive lineman Nick Benito and Perion Winfrey. So in this spot, Oregon tends to play better when they play against good football teams. Now, that, of course, is Utah. Uh, withstanding, right? Withstanding Utah because Utah just beat the mess out of them. I don't think Oklahoma can do what Utah did. Oklahoma is not as strong as them. Let me give you the uh, the gifts on this, by the way. It's at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio, 9.15 p.m. Eastern Time on December 29th on uh, Wednesday. It's a $490 Master gift, MasterCard gift card by University Fan Cards, Ice Shaker Bottle, Mini Helmet, and Team Panoramic Photo. I guess they're giving them a photo of their own team. Like the school couldn't do that themselves. But whatever. Uh, even with Bob Stoops coming back to be the interim, all that kind of stuff, this line is four and a half. I still like Oregon to cover the four and a half. I think they can hang in this game. I think they can make Caleb Williams uncomfortable. And I, I think for Oregon, like the game might actually matter a little bit. There's a reason the entire staff is staying on to play in this one. I think they were embarrassed by Utah. They want to come out and put out a good showing. I think they can hang. This seems like it might be a field goal game. So so give me Oregon to cover the four and a half. Golly, man. I want really bad to pick the big, big game, Bob. Because <laughs> I, just, I spent most of my life never doing it. I'm not going to do it now. I, I trust Moorhead and the bunch running to Oregon. And um, I think Oklahoma's going to struggle. I think they're going to struggle. A, the defense wasn't very good anyway. So Oregon's offense, I think, is going to look awesome. I don't think their defense is going to get any better by any stretch of the imagination. And so, yeah, give me, give me Oregon. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.